and welcome to quick high school physics. This looks like an ordinary beaker of water, but looks can be deceiving. In fact, it's not just water, it's also filled with these balls here, like so, that are feeling rather solid, but yet seem to disappear when thrown in the water. Those little balls are a chemical called polyacrylamide. And polyacrylamide has an amazing ability to absorb a massive amount of water and expand to a great amount as they absorb the water. And the reason they disappear practically in the water is because their refractive index is practically the same as the refractive index of water, which is 1.33. And what that means is, is that as light enters a different medium, it bends relative to the differences in density or difference in the way light travels through those substances. And since these two substances, water and our jelly-like substance, have very similar refractive indexes, light doesn't bend much. It bends very little, which means we don't see it. In essence, when we look at things, it's because light interacts with it and gets distorted, either reflected or refracted or both. And so if there's no refraction and no reflection, we wouldn't be able to see it. And so that's what's happening in this case. The refractive index is similar, and therefore it seems to disappear. This is actually a reason why a lot of people with pools advise you not to have glass near pools, because if glass breaks and falls into the water, this, the refractive index matches close to that of water, and it would be difficult to see the shards of glass in the water. And of course, the only way you end up finding it is cutting your feet inside the pool. In any case, I hope that gives you a little bit of understanding of, of the nature of the refractive index of, in this case, of a chemical called poly polyacrylamide. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.